welcome back to yet another Henna's Bricks YouTube video and today we are doing a full tour of the Lego city. I'm going to show you every single region, every single area and a sort of a quick overview of each building at least. So let's get started. <laughs> So as you walk into the Lego room, the first thing you see is the Paradise Beach. The ocean area is full of loads of boats and we've got a very, very small Statue of Liberty Island. And then over on the right, we have the Paradise Cafe. And then there's the Coast Guard area there. Loads of people along the whole beach um, and loads of great things going on, such as the mini cocktail bar, which I made up myself. You can also see a small cafe slash pizzeria. A nice bridge, which is actually from a Spider-Man Far From Home set. And then the Creator 3-in-1 Lighthouse at the very edge. Also behind the lighthouse, you'll find a small Easter egg. You can see a very happy walker and this sort of sign, which indicates the start slash end of the Greeble Trail. And later in the video, I'll be able to show you the other end of the Greeble Trail as well. Another building very close to the beach is the City Museum. The front section is a real set. And this back section, which I'm pulling away here, is a mock. Um, so just an extension for the whole set, which makes it look a lot better. And with a two brick high base, it fits in really well um, in the Lego City. So then the next area of the Lego City is the modular area. And we have a bunch of different modular buildings in this section. Right next to the beach, you can see the boutique hotel, the jazz club, and the Parisian restaurant. And on the main modular front, we have the Palace Cinema, the police station, the town hall, which is very impressive, and the brick bank. You can also see a load of more modulars in here, such as Assembly Square, um, bordering onto the park. The park has a tennis court and a few trees, mostly green open spaces and with plenty of people walking around in it. Behind the first row of modulars, you'll also find some more modulars, such as the Daily Bugle from the Marvel collection. And then behind that is the Sanctum Sanctorum. And there is a whole battle area with Gargantos and a few other Marvel figures in there as well. You will also see a custom Wayne Enterprises modular, which I made. On the roof, it has the Batman poly bag. And there's even Commissioner Gordon with a bat signal. And here is another angle of the Central Park. Then moving on from the park, we've got even more modulars, such as the corner garage, the pet shop, the modular Lego store, which was a set from the Bricklink designer program. And then of course we have the Avengers Tower right in the middle of the Lego city. And I've also installed a light kit to this set, which really, really improves the looks, especially I really like the um, red flashing light at the top. But in the whole Lego room, it is the only light kit I have, but it's definitely awesome. Moving on from the modular buildings, we're now gonna focus on the retail area, which is full of smaller city sets and very big mocks. The first little area we're gonna look at is the raised area. There are a few shops underneath, such as this cafe and the ice cream shop. And then on the top, you'll find a toy shop and also a Lego shop with an extension at the back. This all leads onto a platform for the uh, raised tram, which goes through the whole retail area over to the other tram station by the docks. Underneath the raised area, you'll find the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle layer. I made this using the pieces from um, one of their base sets and it looks really, really good. And underneath the train tracks, you've also got some dioramas. We've got a dog grooming shop and also a pottery area. Next up, we have the tallest tower in the Lego city the Henna's Bricks Tower. At the bottom, you can see the fresh sign because actually inside on the very bottom floor, there is a whole supermarket, but it is quite hard to get to. As shown by the sign on the first floor, we do have a club with loads of people on this floor. And then the next three floors are taken up by gym space and fitness areas. The floor above that is Harrison Ford's apartment. You can see a Han Solo looking figure. There's meant to be um, Princess Leia and then Lando Calrissian. Obviously, they're actor versions 
in this apartment. Then we have a gaming floor. It is very, very full in there. But you can see a load of minifigures, um, gaming, lots of computers as well in there. The floor above that is a newsroom. Then we have a bit of an outdoor garden with the goat man minifigure. The floor above that is a mini Lego room and the Henna's Brick sign on one side and the other side says goat. And then the top floor is my apartment. You can see me and my girlfriend in there and it's got everything you possibly need. And the very, very top has a little spire. Then next to the Henna's Bricks tower, there is a little square area with some fountains. Then around the other side from the Henna's Bricks tower, you can see the Alpha Team slash Agents tower. So this just has a load of floors with Alpha Team minifigures on the inside and then a sort of um, special room at the top with the main man. Next to the Alpha Team tower, you can also see a small church and a very, very small park as well in this area. And we also have the Octan Tower, which has president business in there. Um, there's a sign on the side saying vote business and we've got loads of other floors in there. There is a Taco Tuesday floor at some some point, I think it's down near the bottom. And then the rest of the buildings are made up of other shops and other things. So we've got a restaurant here, the City Bank. Um, this is the mayor's office and you can see the mayor at the front. Um, and then around the side, we have another Lego shop, a pizza restaurant, a bakery and a burger restaurant. There is also a post office around the back and the entrance to the Octan Tower. And outside the mayor's building, there is a square area with a statue who is holding a white fork and there's a bunch of minifigures you can see um, in here. Just across the road from the retail area, we have the emergency services. So we have the fire station um, on the left and then two hospitals next to each other um, from different, different sets and then one police station. This is gonna be one of my favorite police stations ever. Then if we follow the tram track all the way around, we get to the services station. So here the tram ends and we've also got way to board onto the ferry and also links to the bus service. But this main area here is for the docks and you can see the large crane and the container ship. And then we have the other ocean on the other side of the city, a few less boats in here, but the main part in the corner is the spaceport. We've got the large building full of research labs and training facilities. And then we've got the lookout area and then the main launch pad with the rocket and the space shuttle. In the middle of the ocean, we have got the police prison island and it is actually getting attacked by a guy in a hot air balloon. And then the final area of the Lego city is the farm and forest area. And right down here next to the retail area is some playing field. So we've got a football pitch in here. There are some runners and then there's also a baseball game. We added a bit of a tree line and a mountain to sort of separate the city and the forest. And in here you can see a campsite on top of the hill. And then these two base plates, um, slash three base plates in here are made up of the farm. You can see loads of animals. And then we've got the combine harvester. And then this log cabin set acts as the farmhouse. To get to the forest, a road goes underneath the tram track and around here, and then it turns into a track and you can travel along here to get to the farm and also across this bridge to get to the forest police station. The track also goes through the forest here to get to the two other log cabins we've got and also the beach house. And we've got quite a small beach along here um, and you can see loads of people on it as well. And then the path continues. There is a ford which crosses the river and then you get to the mountain police station. There is also a small swamp area next to it. Back towards the forest police station, you can find the gold mine and we actually have a small little area in here um, for all the mining stuff and that is joined into the large city mountain. As shown by this sign, the mountain is called Mount Clutchmore. And if you can look closely, you can actually see the other end of the Greeble Trail sign. The mountain has plenty of snow at the top and then it comes down to a lake at the midway point and then there is a waterfall which goes all the way down to the river which leads to the ocean. And when making this mountain, I made sure that the mountain police station and the gold mine looked well integrated into the base of the mountain. Behind the mountain, you'll find loads of different caves. At the bottom is, of course, the gold mine with all of the vehicles and the miners in there. Um, and also the train track leads into it as well from the outside. Above that is the power miners floor 
I've only got four Power Miners minifigures at the moment, but I do plan to buy some more eventually. Above that is the cavemen area um, with four cave people in there. Then above that, it turns to snow and we've got the Yeti's cave and he's got a snowman and his own dog. And at the peak of the mountain, you can see a small penguin and a very, very cold explorer. And as I built this mountain very recently, I am extremely happy with the results. So that is a full tour of my Lego city. And I want you guys to tell me which mock building or building in general is your favorite and which area of the city is your favorite. I think my favorite area has got to be the retail area because it's got some great buildings like the Henners Bricks Tower in there. Um, but also the modular city is equally as great. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, this is the Lego City Tour. And if you want to see more tours of other layouts, such as Star Wars or other Lego City stuff, please drop it in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Very cool. <laughs>